this episode of Building Our Own Droid. We are going to make four of these today. We're going to make four of these. Uh, these are the top parts of R2-D2's leg. That's not the shoulder assembly. Um, the link to the template for this and the measurements will be on our Facebook page and also in the description below. But basically, as in previous episodes, we had a, a template like this. That's how we get that shape here. We draw around the template. And we measure in and draw a sensor hole in the middle. So I've already cut these four, but uh, I'll show you what needs to be done next. As I said before, there's the template we used before. It's the leg template we've made up earlier in previous episodes. You mark that along here. And you basically just come in this line here. So we've got a line of continuation here. That's your thickness all the way up. And then I think the measurement, I can't remember what the measurement was, but uh, it will be, as I said, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, that's about a 76 millimeter hole we use with a hole saw using that point there as your reference point to mark that hole. And we need four of these, two for each leg. Now I've marked a slot where the hydraulics go and where the buttons go. As you can see, there's, these are opposites, there's a left and a right. That's one, obviously one side of R2 and this is the other. And you've got these two pieces here which will go, one piece will go underneath this piece, another piece will go under this piece, so it makes it twice as thick. But before you glue them together, you have to cut just the squares out, all right? Leave these slots until after you glue together. So you've got to cut this square, this square, this square, and this square. Then you put them together and then cut the slot. Because you don't want as much depth in this hole as we do in this hole. Five millimeter hole in every corner. And then a half inch hole in the middle. And a half inch hole is going to be the jigsaw bit. And then we're going to cut between those holes very gingerly and carefully and try and keep it as neat as possible very important that your 5mm holes don't cross on the outside of your line because they're going to become your radius edge that you're going to file to. Now, there's a good chance, especially down here, that these will break as you cut through. I'm hoping it doesn't, but if it does I'm just going to have to either glue the piece back on or just cut another one and start again. Now I've drilled a 10mm hole, a series of 10mm holes, or 3 8 holes if you're using Imperial. Um, just to make it easier when I cut it with a jigsaw. So I'm going to basically going to cut from to there to there to there to there just to drop the inside of it out and then I'm going to cut tenderly with the jigsaw all the way around as gently as I can. Well, they didn't break. I thought they would. They're not too bad. They're fairly neat. You get a nice fine file and clean them up. But I managed to uh, to get the holes in here. So you need to get them cleaned up and sanded and perfect before you glue it onto the next piece because it's going to be really hard to get in there otherwise. And with a bit of luck, I thought I was going to break it all along here but it didn't. Uh, use one of these files, you want a fine file, it's quite a fine tooth file. If you use a rough file, when you're pushing through here it'll just break. Use a fine file, take your time. I took my time, just took me about 20 minutes just to file those four after I cut it. Um, if you hurry, you'll break it. If you take your time, it'll be pretty good. It's not too bad at all. Of course, what goes in there, when you put the shoulder assembly, is the shoulder buttons, which are these things here. You put a stainless steel screw through there. One there, one there, one there, one there. They're painted silver, the rest of it's painted white. It looks like a metal piece. We're going to be joining these pieces to these pieces. Right. Making sure that we keep the centre hole lined up as best we could and then match the rest of it as best you can. If it's uneven here, it won't matter because we'll be sanding and filling. We need to keep it centre hole uh, matched as best you can because it's harder to file and shape in there and fill in there than it is anywhere else. So if you can do that bit and get it close, then the rest of it we can make fit. And now a little trick, nail it from the back, nail it all the way through from the back because you're not going to see the back and then when you've got all the nails sticking through you'll be able to put some glue on there and then just press this down together and clamp it down. Now the other cool thing is, the other thing you've got to make sure of is you don't put nails in these areas here. So make sure you nail in the ends 
and around here, but not through the slots where you're going to be cutting or where you have cut. Once you've done that, you're going to want to clamp it so the, till the glue dries. Okay, now you want to drill through these four points and those four corners. You want to drill all the way through. So make sure your drill goes all the way down. You can do this by hand with a hand drill if you've got one. I just happen to have this, so I'm going to use it. Just going to take your time and be careful with it. Okay, now you want to drill through these four points and those four corners. You want to drill all the way through. So make sure your drill goes all the way down. You can do this by hand with a hand drill if you've got one. I just happen to have this, so I'm going to use it. Just going to take your time and be careful with it. got the hole to not go past the line on the outside of the hole. See that? You want to do that for both of them. Now that you've got those holes, we need to put a 10mm drill bit in there. By the way, these holes are a 4mm, 4 4mm drill bit. Uh, you want to put a 10mm 10, 10 drill bit in here so it's big enough for a jigsaw blade. We're going to put a hole here near the end, a hole here near the end, probably one down the middle as well, um, here and here. Now you don't want to cross those lines at all with the outside of the hole so make sure you come in a little bit if you have to. same on the other one. And now we're going to attempt to cut it. Just make a point when you're using this blade here. That when you cut it, you don't cut too much into that hole. So you want to basically just stop at the edge of the hole before it goes all the way through. Otherwise you'll cut the back of the hole and the whole point of drilling that hole and giving that radius there will be gone. doing first is we're cutting out all the uh, all the meat out of the middle and then we'll get the lines nice and straight. Okay the problem you might have is now I've cut that out it's nice and neat on this side but these things here when they cut, if you're going cutting through thicker things, they do this. 
these things here, when you're cutting on thicker material, they tend to do this as you're cutting. See so the moving in them? So you might have a nice neat cut here. When you turn it over, you've got that horrible cut there. Now the way we're going to get around that is on the thinner side you can fill it. Um, but basically it's just going to be file, 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 shape, shape until you get it right. You're not going to see the back anyway. You just want to make it look like it's good from the front. So it's a matter of hiding where those issues are and filing down until you get it straight. So it's basically just file and file, file and file. Um, if you had a table router, this would be a job that would be very easy. So if you have a table router, I suggest you use it. I don't have one, so I did had to use a jigsaw. Now, get as close as you can with your cutting and filing and sanding, right? Because the closer you get, the less filling you'll have to do. This is the front. You can see that's pretty straight. These are pretty straight. We're going to have to fill here or sand here, depending on the width of these. So this one, for instance, that's pretty even, so I would probably sand that off, cut that off. Um, but on this side, probably cut that off as well. See, the back's not very neat, right? Because the blade went in on an angle. Uh, instead of being straight. So we're going to have to fill, we don't have to, but we have to fill in here where it's a bit low and then sand it off and we fill around the edges and all that sort of stuff when we're finished. So get as close as you can with the sandpaper and file and then the rest is uh, up to the filling. Now for instance here, that width is correct but this is low so we have to fill all of that edge along there um, because it's quite crappy on the back of that actually. So there you go. That's a good chunk of the shoulder pieces done, which I'll show you. This is the inside of Arthur's leg going up against Arthur's body. This is the rest of the structure. These will go on the outside here. Yeah. Starting to get some kind of shape to his shoulders. Anyway, until next time. Thanks.